Okay, so one of the things that guys in my corner of the, of the internet, whether that's men's influence or style in general, one of the questions that we often take for granted is, why does any of this stuff matter? But especially with the style guys, why does style matter? I mean, it's just clothing, you know? It's just linen or animal hair or something else that's put on my body. And really, originally, it was just to protect me from the elements. So why does any of this matter? You guys ever thought about it? So one thing that it does do is it helps our brains shortcut and be able to make judgments based on patterns. Now, the world will tell us that that's bad, that we shouldn't make those judgments based on those patterns. And to a certain extent, I agree, as long as you're willing to make them and then override them once you're given different information. But we can't always assess everything based on its own merit. We have to take those shortcuts. We have to use those patterns. And clothing is a huge way to do it. Now, in the course of the day, I've already had three gentlemen come up and introduce themselves to me and say, I knew you were a speaker. Why do you think they knew that? It's because of what I was wearing, right? One of them specifically told me, he said, you don't roll into a conference looking like you do and not be a guy who's speaking and presenting, right? I haven't done anything else. We hadn't said anything. We hadn't communicated. Sure, there's body language and there's presence, but even that is either exaggerated or downplayed by the clothing that I choose to wear. So style is a big one, and it's one of those things that it helps us facilitate our interaction with the rest of the world. It helps us determine who's in tribe and who's out tribe. It helps us determine the value of what we have. It helps us signal our status. It helps us signal, uh, signal our fertility. It helps us signal all these other traits that we seek as virtuous in other people, and it applies just as well to men as it does to women. However, there's a big difference between the way that men and women should approach style. And this is one of the things that I see a lot, because most men have kind of this either negative relationship with their appearance, or they just have a neutral one. They assume that as long as I don't look bad, then I don't really care how I look. And I'll tell you that any guy who says that he doesn't care about his appearance, all you have to do to call him on his bluff is say, all right, come to work tomorrow in a Snuggie, a pink one, right? One of those big old blankets with sleeves. No guy's gonna show up to work in that because he's gonna be embarrassed by it and he's not gonna feel comfortable or confident in it. And so, men, we do care about our appearance, but mostly we just care, care about it in this neutral context. As long as I don't look bad, then I'm fine. As long as I don't look ridiculous, then I'm fine. But we miss out on so many opportunities for what our clothing can do for us by not getting into the positive realm of having our appearance do good things for us as opposed to just not doing negative things. Now that jumps into this whole concept of visual appeal versus visual power. As I speak to guys at different conferences, as I meet men across the country and even throughout the world, one of the things that guys who are new to the world of aesthetics or style tell me is, oh yeah, my mom used to dress me, or my girlfriend buys clothes for me, or my wife dresses me. Nine times out of 10, I don't need them to tell me that because I can tell. Because when a woman dresses herself, her primary goal is visual appeal. She wants to accentuate the things that are appealing about her. We've learned that that's part of a sexual strategy. That's part of accentuating the things that biologically we as men are attracted to in women. The problem is, is they take those same goals and then when they apply them to you, you end up looking cute. And no man should ever look cute. It's not your goal. It doesn't help facilitate what your goals are. It doesn't help accomplish what you want to accomplish. No man should ever look cute. Instead, a man should be seeking visual power. All right? It's a subtle difference as far as what's actually accomplished aesthetically, but socially it's a huge difference. And that's why it's very easy to tell, for me it was pretty easy to tell the difference between those who were speakers or those who run their own businesses, those who are kind of here to help with the conference, versus some of you guys who are brand new here to learn. And I don't mean that as a value judgment, but it certainly is an observational judgment. It's pretty easy for me to tell because some of you guys look like you just don't care or that at least you care not enough to look bad or that you just at least want to look kind of good in the way that a girl would think you would look good, but you don't look powerful. And I'll tell you one of the biggest secrets to dressing well